Hello YouTube. Um I'm gonna be doing my much waited for Windows XP to Leopard tutorial. Perfected, like this looks close to the real thing. Uh so what you're gonna do is this is unplanned, so you know if I get it wrong just deal with it. Uh I give you guys three styles. I'm gonna choose Leopard XP because this one looks the best in my eyes. You guys can pick all the other ones if you want, but I like this one. So I'm gonna just change the style. Alright, once that's changed, you're gonna unlock your taskbar. Then you're gonna drag it to the top and lock it. So now you got the uh, main thing. Now we're going to get the applications going. Uh, first application we're going to use is RK Launcher. Let's start with this. Oh. Now uh, I already installed this, so I'm not going to install it again. But you're just going to install it, you know, like normal. And uh, once installed, you're going to run it to be under RK Launcher iVista Leopard. And yeah, this is XP, Vista, you know, whatever. They all work. I'm going to just hide my icons. Wait for this to start up. Alright, there we are. So, when it starts up, it's going to look pretty basic. As you see, I, I did add some stuff, but when it starts up, what you're going to want to do is, whenever you add something, all you got to do is right-click, go to settings. No, 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 no. When you add something, you want to change the icon. You're going to click, let's say I'll, I'll choose ice. No. I'll choose I'm too. You click it, click, and then you'd click dock item properties. Click change icon, and then here it shows more reflective icons, folders, and more icons. So you have a lot of icons here to choose from. So yeah. Uh, I'm trying to make this short so I might rush. Okay, uh, another thing is, let's do... Uh, finder bar. So what finder bar is is why did I do that? It's a uh, I already have it installed once again. So you're just gonna install it like normal. And what it is is it gives you the the Mac, you know, thing. The Mac thing. Once again, this is unplanned, so I have no idea what I'm saying. But it gives it gives you the uh. The thing up here. I don't know what it's called. Something. Yeah, you see that? Okay, well, now that we have that on, we're gonna have we're gonna wanna get a background. Okay, I didn't I didn't upload this yet, so in the real pack I'm gonna give you a couple wallpapers too, okay? But hold on, I'll bear it back. Alright, I got my background. So, yeah, as I said, it's all going to be included. Uh, so, once you do that, when you know you got Finder Bar, it gives you all this. You know, it looks pretty legit. Uh, we're going to go and we're going to install uh, Trans Bar. No, I didn't install this yet. But uh, what it does is it just makes your taskbar... Um, it makes it transparent, so we're gonna do all this. Run the trans bar. Blah, blah, blah. I put put it at eighty, maybe yeah, eighty seventy-five. I'd say seventy-five. Find what works best. And as you see, it's you know it looks pretty legit right now. Um, 
this is something that you don't have to do, but uh, I, I I left you guys both. There's a 32-bit and a 64. I'm going to install the 32-bit. I think I'm 32-bit. Whatever your operating system is. And what this does is, if you see, it makes the icons on the left side. Not the icons, the, uh, the buttons on the left side. Okay. Uh, we're, we're pretty close. So, last one is Mac OS X Cursors. These are your cursors. So you just want to install these. And it the cool thing about this is it automatically sets them as your cursor. I don't want to make this video too long. Okay, so once that's done, you know, it's on the left. No, I mean you got your cursors, yeah. So those are the Mac cursors. Next, we're going to do this.